When my wife brought breakfast to bed last year, she asked me if I knew anything about 2012, and I could only reply, well, what the heck is 2012? And so, this was the incentive to start the Doomsday Research Program. Now, I decided that this would be a non-profit organization where we educate the public while using their money to actually further enhance our research. So, what is 2012? Well, on December 21st, 2012, a number of things will be happening. Well, firstly, the magnetic poles of the Earth will swap. It basically means that you go from north to south and south to north. north. And the idea is that if you use your compass, it will point to where south used to be. Also, but this is not really a big problem. I mean, considering that also a planet called Nibiru is actually going to zoom through our solar system, disrupting the orbits of planets and also disrupting the gravitational field of the Earth. I'll show you some simple math just to show that this is actually inevitable, and I'm not joking. Well, firstly, we start off with the, uh, the final answer, n equals to 1. It's just that simple. Um, the Mayans were a highly advanced people, originating from South Africa, west of Mexico. Uh, they were noted for their developments in art and mathematics, being the first civilization to draw three-dimensional pictures and invent the method of counting. Uh, as the Mayans suddenly dissolved around the time of Christopher Columbus, most of their culture was forgotten, but one of their inventions still remained, the calendar. Even though we currently use the Gregorian calendar, the Mayan calendar is still significant because it is based on the moons of Venus. And the end of the calendar was calculated to be the end of the world as we know it. This is an example of the Mayan calendar. Um, this in indicates the beginning of civilization. And if we follow the line all the way down, okay, we can come to Fortunately, the end of humankind. Doomsday is very real to me. As a Christian, I believe in it because the Bible states that Doomsday is very, is very near. The Bible certainly prophesies that the world will end in fire and we can see at the moment that global warming is very real the earth is becoming very very warm and the earth's magnetic field is being disrupted and it is certainly affecting the physiology and the metabolism of the cattle the cattle is a very big contributor to global warming and when they give out gases uh, it will seriously cause or it will or rather it will enhance global warming and in by December 12th or was it December 21st we can be rest assured that we'll all be burned to death Doomsday is approaching fast, there's no denying it. And what will happen very soon is that the mindset of the average human being will change forever. For example, exponential increases in crime rates around the world will take place. And, more worryingly, the number of schizophrenic people will also rise. Here's a bar chart to illustrate the crime rates for the USA in the future and here is a second chart to illustrate the number of cases of schizophrenia. More worryingly though there will be also new trends in fashion. 
more people will dress in costumes, will wear false beards, will wear wigs, and will wear more revealing clothing. On eBay there will be a roaring trade of individuals selling their whole families, the wife, the children, the dog, in order to buy comic books. A minor side effect is that deforestation will also increase because more paper, much more paper, will be required for the massive wish lists people will generate. Isn't that amazing? I have in my hand a piece of paper. It's a manuscript from a very reliable source which I I'm obliged to keep secret. It's a manuscript and immediately I recognise it as the handwriting of Philip Larkin, the great English poet who died in 1985. And fortuitously it relates to the catastrophic events that uh, we are researching in this documentary. So I'll read this poem to you. Oh my God, oh my God, where is there lava? No, why is there lava in the living room? I'm so scared, will it all go boom, boom? Who turned off the lights? You can't take away my rights. I can feel the ground shake beneath my feet as my room is covered in concrete. Gently upon the soil of the earth shall you trod. Oh my God, oh my God. As you can see, the splendid imagery, language and symbolism is considered by many literary critics as the pinnacle of literature. Even the works of Shakespeare are flawed compared to this powerful piece of writing. So, Joe, how much longer until doomsday? I think you'll be ready for quite some time, Professor. 